Hi everyone, I'm Rita Peterson with Everything Homemade and I'm out here in my garden spot. We are about to um, uh, plant dill this morning. I have a video on how to plant beets, how to plant carrots, and we are planting dill. But I thought, hey, I know this trick, but maybe you guys don't know this trick. So we're just going to not plant dill for a second and I am going to share this um, little trick with you that I think will clarify a whole bunch and make things a little less stressful is when you have seeds all these different kind of seeds how do you know the depth that you need to plant them Be without reading the backs of every single seed package and uh, there is a rule and I don't know if this is a rule that is like written or but this is the rule that I follow for myself is I look at the seed size okay so we have carrot seed here not too close because I won't see Orion carrot seed is really small really really small compared to red beet seeds and then you have dill seeds okay so we have these types of seeds and then you got cucumber seeds, you have watermelon seeds, big squash seeds, you have pumpkin seeds, you have pumpkin seeds um, and you have lettuce seeds, which is even smaller than cucumbers. So how do you know what depth you plant them in? So my rule of thumb is anything that's about a red beet side size of a seed, I do a half an inch, half an inch depth in the garden. Anything that is um, cucumber, cucumber will be an exception to, to this um, rule, sort of. Um, melons, watermelons, um, squash, um, zucchini will go into squash, but a lot of people consider zucchini, um, if you're not, uh, know your groupings, um, zucchini um, is a squash, but I'm going to just list it as a separate item. Pumpkin. All of these have big, flatter seeds, an inch to a half an inch of depth. Because what happens is, you put that seed in the pot, it has to have time to come up. It does that, you know, from the seed curl up and then the leaves come out. It has to have that much room. And what happens if you plant it too um, close to the surface, it'll come up and it'll actually start popping out of the ground. So those bigger seeds, an inch to a half inch, Unless they're like some specific kind that is so much smaller, raise up the level. Cucumber seeds on average are smaller. So I like to do a half inch with all my cucumber seeds. Um, again, red beet side seeds, um, pea seeds would go into that, that category. Um, bean seeds, a good half inch in the ground. Um, no more than that because otherwise it gets too cold and it might actually rot. So I like a half inch for, for those kinds of seeds. Dill, like I showed you, dill is about a quarter of an inch in the ground. Carrot seeds is a quarter of an inch. And I do, now there is a size difference, but with dill, they're flatter, okay? And dill likes light a bit to germinate, so I don't um, go really um, deep with dill. Carrot seed, again, anything fine like a carrot seed, lettuce seeds, okay, um, besides not, not Swiss chart, Swiss chart's actually a beet family, um, again, a half inch for that, so carrot seeds, dill seeds, lettuce seeds, anything really tiny, a quarter of an inch in the ground, and if you follow that, if you look at your seed, the smaller the seed, the less the depth, the bigger the seed, the more the depth that you need. And you're, you're going anywhere from a quarter of an inch to an inch to an inch and a half for a really big seed. Corn would be like a big, a, considered a big seed an inch. Um, if you follow that simple, simple rules, you can almost plant anything. Um, otherwise, the only thing that you're gonna run into an issue if it's a real specialty seed, um, that they want you to sow on top and it needs light to germinate. But most of your garden seeds are in the ground. Um, even when you are putting them in pots, you do the same rule. Herbs, on the other hand, 
most herbs need light to germinate, which means that you need to have your bed made or your, your um, pots ahead of time made. You cast your seed on top, you put plastic over it and you put your light on. And what it does is that plastic will help it not to dry up. And I just use saran wrap um, over top of my containers, put on my grow light, um, and then that light will actually help it to germinate. As soon as it germinates, you pull off the saran wrap and, it, and um, you let it grow the rest. Most herbs, if in doubt, um, do that method for most herbs and you'll have a higher success rate because most herbs, for some reason, need light to germinate. So other than that, if you have any questions, I thought I would share that little tip because I use it all the time and we're going to gear up and plant dill seed. See you on the next video.